Hello guys, you really worry about me sometimes and, and uh, ask me why I still didn't move uh, from Russia, why I'm staying here and today I want to tell you about pros and cons of life in Russia and uh, this is just about my life. <laughs> For every person, sure, the values will be different, I just will tell about my life. So first, what I don't like in Russia. I really don't like, of course, the salaries, because the salaries in Russia are really small and, for example, uh, like I live now in a big city, in a modern city, like in Vladivostok, my hometown, Sochi, is more expensive. Here the salaries are really small. For ordinary people it's really complicated to live better than just to pay for your apartment food and even uh, here it's sometimes complicated even to rent apartment and even to find money for food so you need to have really good education good job to live normal here uh, just if you have ordinary job and uh, you live alone you don't have a family you don't have uh, you know, your own apartment, you have to pay for all the bills, it will be really complicated to survive here with this salary. And about uh, the future, of course, you need to think right now, like uh, how you will live when you will become older. It's really, really small and all people also live very bad here. So you really need to have your own apartment, maybe something else and uh, your children, grandchildren have to help you or your life will be like a nightmare. So the climate. If we don't speak about the climate on the uh, south of Russia, here I really love it, but okay, let's say about just ordinary people who live somewhere in uh, Moscow, Siberia, somewhere else, Mm, climate here is really not the best uh, because it's really cold during the winter time. For example, in my hometown, Vladivostok, it's really windy, not, not snowy. This is maybe not the best place to live if we speak about the climate, but I'm sure in Europe, in some other countries, uh, it also can be cold during the winter. Yeah, but uh, the summer here is really good usually it's good so don't think that Russia is only about the cold no during the summertime we also have plus 30 degrees plus 40 degrees Celsius it also can be the third reason it's really complicated to travel uh, without visa because uh, from Russia without visa I can visit just some countries like Georgia, Turkey, Emirates, uh, something else, maybe some Latin America countries, but really not a lot of countries. Uh, and it's complicated to get visa. I tried to get Schengen once, uh, Japanese visa, and uh, I had to prepare a lot of documents and to demonstrate that I have enough money for my trip to show that I will come back. For us, travel is more complicated than for people from some other countries. Also, I would say that Russian education may be not so popular in the world. So if you got Russian diploma, uh, depend on the university, of course, we have also good universities, but most of them are just ordinary and uh, if you want to move somewhere with this diploma it will be more complicated to do but i will tell why i don't move and what i really love here staying in russia or better say in my um, country where we were born so first i already kind of lost you know this illusion that when i move somewhere my life will be like a fairy tale why because uh, I know what is loneliness. Even uh, here inside of Russia, when I moved, I really understood what is it uh, to be just uh, your, your, with yourself, to be alone. But here I can uh, easily start speaking with someone in Russian and people feel like I am um, the same like they are and they really want to be friends with me. And it's not so complicated to find people here when you move to another country people anyway look at you like you're an alien you need to speak very very good uh, language and you need to be very sociable you need to understand and uh, 
be prepared that people maybe will not uh, want to have deep uh, friendship with you. Yes, maybe they will go with you to the cafe somewhere else, but it will be not the same what you have here in your country. Because here you understand each other much more better. And my family sure live in Russia. I live in Russia. And uh, if, you, if I want, I can maybe not so easily, but I can uh, visit my parents. I don't need to prepare documents, a lot of money uh, to do this. Uh, if I move somewhere else, like uh, Australia, USA, Europe, it will be really complicated for me to meet them to see them and uh, even now i live uh, in another city i can see them once in a half of year once a year if i move somewhere else i will meet them even ra more rarely and for me uh, family it's one of the most important values uh, money uh, job uh, for me it's not so important like my parents my good friends and my opportunity to see them. I am the only one child in my family and even uh, my grandmother have, uh, has the only one grandchild and this is me and you understand that and uh, for me it's really my responsibility that I could uh, visit my family. So the third one, it's not complicated here to find a job, especially if you are well educated. There are a lot of opportunities uh, where you can work. Then, if I have uh, problems uh, with my health and I need to visit doctor, I can uh, do it even uh, without money. I mean, maybe, uh, sure, it's better to visit a private clinic, but anyway, uh, when I was sick, uh, when I needed help, I just um, went uh, somewhere to the uh, hospital uh, near with my house and uh, they always told me what medicine I have to take. So anyway, you have this um, possibility to do it for free. Also, you can visit uh, school for free, university, for example. I passed exams really good, that's why I didn't pay for my education. And I got bachelor's, master's diploma just for free. And it was really good university. Um, maybe I already told about uh, this. When I was a child, I could even visit uh, some sections, like uh, play the guitar or maybe drawing just for free. Government supported. Here in Russia, yes, we have less salaries, but for me it's easier here uh, to buy my own apartment. Uh, I don't care about how much water or electricity I use because it's really cheap. My internet is uh, totally uh, free. I mean, I can use it as much as I want and it is cheap. Also, mobile uh, connection is uh, very cheap. You have opportunity to open your own business also more easily than in other countries. If you need to open your bank account or pay for your taxes uh, for anything, send money, it's just working for some minutes. I understand if I move to other countries and I will have my the same job what I have now, I mean, work for myself, it will be not safe for me because sometimes I have more students, sometimes I have less students. And uh, here, anyway, I can uh, still uh, continue <laughs> living the same. But there, I will need much more money and I will have to lose my freedom, I would say. Because here, I just work for myself. I give classes whenever I want. There, I will need more money, so I will have to find a job. And uh, actually, my life will be worse because of this, because I will lose my mornings uh, without um, rush, you know, and you just wake up and do what you want, live how you want. And the last one here is really safe. Here you will not find people with guns, robbery, it's also not about Russia. Yeah, you maybe heard a lot of stereotypes about Russia, but I would say that now, uh, these days, Russia, for me, it's a very, really safe country. I say it especially like a girl. I can walk uh, in the evening and everything will be fine. Sure, it's uh, not a good idea to walk for the girl alone in the evening. But anyway, uh, here it's really calm. I never had any bad situations for my whole life. Like no robbery, no something like with men. 
um, maybe I'm just lucky, but uh, if you just uh, do everything to stay safe, you stay safe. If you will not walk alone somewhere in the dark uh, street and uh, that's all. This is just my story. Write in comments what you think about it. Uh, are you agree with me or disagree? If you are interested in learning Russian language, you can book a first Russian language class with me. I work with people from zero. Uh, we study with uh, modern books, we study with uh, online platforms, with uh, songs, with classes that I make myself. So um, I always try to make it uh, suitable for you, depend on your goals. Uh, usually uh, guys who want to travel to Russia come to me, who are just interested in Russian culture, who are interested in marriage with Russian girl. So come to my classes. See you soon. Have a good day.